I'm letting things load here. Brand new game. Brand new character, I should say. So I'm letting all the mods load up. Waiting. Is that it? Ew. I don't like his hairdo. Well, we can fix that. Hey, Scorp. Hoot, hoot, don't pollute. What's that mean? <laughs> Are you spreading owl crap all over the place? Uh, I'm waiting for the mods to load here. Um, I should have started an hour ago, but I decided to start a new character because... Uh, I found a pretty cool mod I'm using now. It's a it's a mod that's got its own storyline to it. So I wanted to start over to do it right. In the city or in the woods, help keep America looking good. Um, find me a place to live in Texas. If Texas uh, secedes and takes all the other Republican states with it, I'm in a blue state. I need to get the hell out of here. All right, now let's see. Well, it's, uh, by the way, how's uh, the sound check and everything? Sound and picture? Give myself a little bit of a start here. Um, no, that's not what I want to do. Do I want to mod it or set it? I'm going to mod it. Not A V carry weight five thousand there. She leave it. Andy, hello, how are you? Hard market down here, houses get gobbled up quick. Everything sounds good and looks good. Great, thank you. I'm giving myself a little just a tiny little head start here. All right. Okay, new character. Um, I got a ton of mods in here. I've been playing this for weeks a week now. Well, last week, this week, I've been really busy. I was playing it and forgot that I was going to do a Friday night uh, live stream, and I was playing the game. I should have been live streaming, but I forgot about the live stream. So. Make up for it today. Doing okay, Andy? That's good. So here's the deal. It's a it's a new character. I started a new character. I've got a new mod. Has he got blue eyes? He's supposed to have blue eyes. Yeah, he does. Okay, I don't like that hairdo, though. Looks weird. I'm going to change that. So we just came out. I set him all up. We got out of there. I All that trouble getting in and out of the... Um, the whatcha dinger up there, the vault is I I skipped. So this is a new character, it's first time here. But there's a mod called Sim Settlements that I played with before. But there's a brand new one, just came out within the last few months, and it's Sim Settlement Two, and it comes with all kinds of new characters you can meet and play with, and also quest lines. It's got its own quest lines with it. And it just looked like a lot of fun. But the way to do it right is to start a new character. Because if, if you've already done a bunch of stuff, um, it kind of interferes with it. So, so I'm here. I'm going to start this, and then we'll find that guy. 
Let's talk to uh, Codsworth first and get this over with. As I live and breathe, oh, it's it's really you. It really well. Who'd you expect it to be, Codsworth? You're still here. What the hell happened, Codsworth? What happened to the world? The world, sir. Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. You know, he things kept saying geraniums so before, and I never figured out he was Jack. saying geraniums. Where is your better half, by the by? Um, they killed her. Wife killers. They. They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. You mean Shaw charades? does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Nah, he got kidnapped too. He's been kidnapped. Sean's been kidnapped. Which is fine. I don't I'm have to take care to of him, him now. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. Maybe I You're will. Suffering from Maybe I won't. Induced paranoia. Not eating properly for two hundred years will do that. I'm afraid. All right. Doesn't matter how long it's been. I feel fine. Two hundred years. Two hundred years. What? Are you? A bit over two hundred and ten, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> yeah, call me anything like except for late for dinner. <laughs> you must be famished. Yeah, I'm pretty hungry. Are you okay, though? You're acting weird. Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to. Oh no my one god, to serve. he's gonna cry. I spent the first ten And I don't have an oil can trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house <laughs> and the car the car how do you polish rust? Uh, you don't, you idiot. Stay with me, buddy. Stay with me, pal. Focus. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this... hollow tape. I believe the well, was going to we weren't dead, but we were meat popsicles, I'll tell you. But then, well, everything happened. Well, thank you. Thank you, you Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, and I'm feeling sorry for myself. Yeah, enough Shall of we that. Shall search the neighborhood it. together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. You weren't listening, were you? They're dead and kidnapped. All right. Lead the way. All right, we came out of the vault with nothing but a gun and some dead radroach meat that I'll cook up later for something to eat. All this, Not this time. I'm supposed to be a you didn't even give me a chance to shoot. All right, we're going to grab this to eat. Flies. We'll be eating that. Let's grab this stuff. This is Wait. drugs. We need drugs. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Okay, Follow my me. play style is to loot every damn thing. So, we're going to do that. Let's see if I can get a shot off this time. Picking up hostile life signs. That it? Oh, I got one. There's two more. There's another. Oh, I missed that one. 
Oh, he torched him. <laughs> God, I'm a terrible guy. Oh, what's that wiggly thing in my stomach? That's gross. Oh, it's gone. Must have absorbed it. All right, we're gonna eat all this. So let's go in here and pick these up. Where's that other one I shot? Ooh, what's that? It's a safe. Well, let's get that. I'm gonna see what's in there. Lock picking. Yeah, yeah, I know how to lock pick. Nice. Yeah, nice. I'll take everything. I'm taking everything. All right, Cosworth. Sir, they are not here. Your, Told you they wouldn't be. Your family isn't here either. They're, they're really gone, aren't they? Yeah. Told you that. Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up. Yeah, sir. I'm not looting what free. About the city? I like looting. Concord is nearby, and well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. <laughs> only a couple times. They've only shot him a couple times. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, sir. Right. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. Well, toodles. Toodaloo. So, um, I'm, I'm playing about five or six different games. You guys know me. Uh, I've created different characters, and I'm doing different jobs, if you will. Uh, one character... Well, as far as this one goes, this character, I am going to level up there as a ranger. So, he's going to be good with handguns and rifles. Mostly rifles. Um, if you remember, my other character was a gunslinger. I'm st I've still got the other character going. But, um, and then I've got one that's uh, that's going to be leveled up as James Bond. And I'm going to do that through the railroad. Because the railroad, you get um, this really neat handgun with a silencer on it. Looks like something James Bond would use. And and they have and they have agents in the railroad. They have agents, so they're sneaky little bastards, and they run around sneakily and stuff like that. So I figured I'd do that. Um, I've got another character that is a paladin, and he mostly uses uh, the big armor. And um, and he's going to be um, going through the Brotherhood, and he's going to be heavily armored, so he's going to be a soldier. And let's see, I got a couple others I'm playing. I can't remember. There's too many. Don't but think this guy's going to be a ranger. And I, mostly, I just want to go through that new uh, mod. So I wanted to start over because you start that mod right away. I won't be able to pick this. Uh, I don't have enough skills for that. I'll have to come back for that. But I'm looting everything. Looting everything. Now... There's a reason for looting everything, really. If it isn't edible or drinkable, it's made out of metal or some other piece of equipment, or it's got something in it. Like some of the um, alarm clocks have their atomic clocks, so they got a little bit of, uh, of uh, nuclear material in them. And you can break everything down and so that you can uh, craft other things. That's why I loot everything. All right, so there's my fresh start. I got um, I got some stuff going here. We're gonna get out of town. We're gonna go to Concord. But before I do, I'm gonna start this quest. And you start this quest by picking up this this magazine right here. Robco Backyard Robotics issue number one. Let's read it. There we go. You've collected an issue of Robco Backyard Robotics. It included components to build your own recruitment radio station. So it's giving me the material so that I can build a radio station. So we're going to let that load up here. Um, let's take this. And then, uh, before I do anything else, let me go in. And I've got some... Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, inventory. Let's go to inventory. Aid. Is it aid? Miscellaneous. Here we go. Alright, I've got some holotapes. 
Let's let's uh, read this. This is from my wife that got murdered. Ow! Hit my ears. No, no, no. Fingers away. There we go. Okay. Just say it. Right there. Right there. Now it's been 200 years, but for me it's only been like yesterday, because I was a frozen popsicle. Yay! Hi, honey. Listen, I, I don't think that Sean and I need to tell you how great of a father you are, but we're going to anyway. You are kind and loving. Oh, jeez. Here we go. It's getting all gushy. That's right. And patient. So patient. All the things I'm not. Patience of a saint, my mom used to say. Look, with Sean and us all being home together, it's been an amazing year. But even so, I know... Hey, Craig, how are you doing? Things we need to adjust to. You'll rejoin the civilian workforce, and I'll shake the dust off my law degree. But everything we do. How you doing, Craig? No matter how hard we do it for our family. Yeah, patience. Say goodbye, Sean. Well, unless you're a doctor, bye -bye. you don't have any patience. Say bye bye. Come on. Bye bye. That's enough. <laughs> bye, honey. Bye. Okay, it's done with that. Now, I've got another one. Uh, let's see. Settings. All right, we want to do that one. And that's going to adjust my HUD. So let's activate that. Now, there is a problem with this mod that's never been fixed. So the I think... Um, I didn't put the iHUD part into it. I'm going to leave the armor part in it and not use that. But notice all the stuff on the screen went away. So I can I can go in here and adjust some of that. Let me, let's see, AFT settings, Robco, stencil vault settings, all tapes. Um, let's see, there. We're gonna we're gonna select that. I'm gonna special. I'm gonna favorite that, and I'm gonna put the favorite on that. Um, let's see. I'll put it right here. The iHUD. Put it there. Okay. Now put that on so that I can turn see my my uh, GPS on the bottom, and I can hide that. So that mod that I just turned on hides all the HUD. And I can set it to come up if I want to. For example, when I'm just looking around, I don't need the uh, I don't need that compass. But when I draw my gun, the compass will come on if I set it that way. Let's see. Um, let's go back here. I thought it was set up for that. Deactivate head, compass activation. On toggle. Action bar. Compass, that's it. Uh, I want to turn that on in combat and while I'm aiming. Uh, weapon drawn. Let me turn it off in combat. I'll turn it on with weapon drawn. And sneaking. Okay, now. Now when I draw my weapon... Well, it's not up again. It's supposed to come on when I draw the weapon. Well, I'll work on that later. Jumbo and yes, that was three minutes. Oh, no! I forgot to put Jumbo in. I'm sorry, Andy. Oh, man. I, I forgot. I'll do it. I'll do it. I promise. Um, well, let me do this first. What was I doing? Let's see. I've got to... Oh, I've got to make a... Um, i got to build something. i got to build that uh, transmitter.
All right, let's go up here. Search this. Okay. This is gonna start that uh, quest line, so let me get rid of that and these leaves and stuff. All right, so let's see. First of all, I need to build that. We need some power. So build some power, and then we'll build that tower. What? He was supposed to give me all the stuff to build that. He didn't. All right, so I need rubber. All right, what else did I need? This off to a slow start. I thought it supposedly he's supposed to give me all the stuff to build this there we go okay all right here we go i'm gonna build that and then we're gonna put some power to it and then get out of that and we wait let me clean up while i'm waiting Do a little scrap in here. Give her some of this garbage. What? <laughs> okay, what am I missing? Jumbo and yes. Yes, that's the one. We all heard that. No worries, Rudy. I know you're busy. There's my guy. Okay, so as soon as I built that, this is the guy that left the magazine. And this is starting hey, that new quest. Hello there. If I'm not mistaken, you're the fellow I've been looking for. Really? Can I help you? Can I help you? I heard your radio broadcast. It sounded as if you were starting some kind of settlement. Is that about the right of it? Uh, yeah, sure. That's right. That's right. Well, in that case, I've got something you might be interested in. Here, catch. All right, he threw me something. It's called an ASAM sensor. If you're going to be building settlements, these things are what you'll want to use. Okay, and um, why is that? Yeah, why is that? Mm, I think a demonstration is in order. Place that ASAM down on the ground somewhere. Go ahead. Any old spot will do. All right. Well, let's make a spot first. So let me uh, tear down all this junk here. We're going to tear this whole building down so I've got a foundation to build on. Okay, so he wants me to drop this thing. So I've got to go over to... The Sim Settlement 2, and when it loads, that's what he wants me to drop right there. Uh, okay, so let me drop that right about cheer. All right. Oh, God, I got, look, I got settlers coming in. Congratulations. You've made the smart move of choosing Rocky brand ASAM sensors for your city planning needs. This is cool. Unlike other less reliable multi-purpose sensors, Rocky brand ASAM sensors offer the level of versatility and connectability that you deserve. Rocky
Go brand ASAM sensors. America's number one sensor solution. Number one. All right, now what? Nicely done. Don't mind the ASAM. It's just scanning the area for materials. Ooh, look, it's got antennas coming. Oh, look at that. Whoa. Now for this next part, I'm going to pretend to be a settler. Let's come to work for you. Okay. So just play along, all right? Okay. <clears throat> what do I have to do? Boy, I sure am glad I found this settlement to live in. But oh no, there are no homes available. And I don't know how to build one myself. I guess I'll just have to rely on whoever runs this place to build a home for me. Uh, do you think that settle, settle, settlers are all that stupid? All right, I'm going to play along. Don't sell yourself short. You're right. If only I had a little guidance, I could probably build something myself. But wait, what is this? Why, it's an ASAM. Just the thing I need. Okay. Uh, this is going someplace. All right, I'm going to keep playing along. What do you need it for? That is a great question. You see, with an ASAM, there's no barrier for entry when it comes to building something. All I'd need to do is follow the step-by-step -step instructions provided by the ASAM. Here, let me show you. All right, this is cool, man. So Once this place down the sensor. Your role in the construction is pretty much done. So you drop these things down, and the people start building their own places to live and stores and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. But there's Just about anyone in the settlement can claim the area and start building for themselves. There's a whole quest line that goes quite a while, and it adds all kinds of new characters that come in that you can talk to, and and uh, it's really pretty cool. The directions that the ASAM provides are so easy to understand, even a savage could do it with no problem. Uh, a savage? Where would you find a savage? He's, he's pounding the hell out of his hand. What? what? Alright, just one more nail. And... Finished. A man's home is his castle, and no one understands that better than Robco. Our ASAM sensor technology offers citizens unrivaled freedom of DIY home design. Built using locally sourced materials and designed via our patented, dynamic, easy build proofing software. With Robco brand ASAM sensors, everyone can have a roof over their head. After all, a warm and dry citizen is a productive citizen. Ah, and there you have it. A fully built home. Ready for habitation by some lucky wastelander. And you barely had to lift a finger. Not too shabby, huh? So now that you've seen what they can do, what do you think? Are ASAM sensors something you might be interested in? Oh, is this a sales pitch? Well, okay, sure. Yes, I'm really interested. <laughs> I thought you might be. Unfortunately, right now I only have the one sensor on me. No, of However, course you I do. can provide you with more. And once you have more, I can show you even more stuff you could build with them. Homes are just the start. But first, I'm gonna have to ask for a little task done in return. Uh, okay. Of course. Just tell me what you need help with. All right, here it is. I got me a workshop in a town called Concord. Nice enough place, fairly quiet. Or at least it was. But just recently, I returned from a trade run to find the entire town overrun by raiders. And now I can't get near my workshop. A small group I could deal with, but there's too many for me to take on alone. So I'm gonna need someone to help take them out. So there it is. That's the job. You help me get rid of these raiders, I'll give you more ASAMs. And show you how to build even more stuff with them. Uh, okay. Why me? Why me? Right now, I only have one thing to do. I sound like Nancy with. Kerrigan. Why tech. me? You seem interested. And I need a second gun to deal with those raiders. What, what if I don't have a gun? I don't know. Don't worry. I'll help you deal with these raiders. You will? Well, talk for yourself. That's great. Okay, then. 
Let's head to Concord and show those raiders who's boss. I was going to run Lead the other on. way. Okay, so uh, this is why I started the new character because this mod, it, I wanted to do it right. And the way it starts out, after I talked to Cosworth over there, the first thing I was to do was to go to Concord. Well, this is where he wants to go. So if I'd already done that, uh, I'd have told him, oh, I've already killed all the raiders. So, but in this, but the way it's set up now, we can go do that with him. But let me show you what it built. It builds a nice little place. Somebody's got a bed, they got a roof over their head, they got a dresser, that's all busted all to hell. And uh, a little place to eat, and some really crappy food uh, that looks like maybe it's already been eaten. Anyway. There you go. So, before I go, let me go back in here. I've got some more mods to kind of set up. Uh, let's see. Settings. There was another mod. Mod. Miscellaneous. Uh, AFT settings. Do I have to do anything with that? Let me click on that a minute. Okay, yeah, these are all set up. I just wanted to make sure I, I read that uh, disc first, so. Okay, and then, where's the other one? There was another one. Master Control. Settings, hollow tapes, hollow tapes. Um, I think I have to build one. Let me see. Before I, I want, before I do this, I want to set these up. I've got a couple of mods, so since it's a brand new start, I want to make sure my mods are running. Let me see if I can craft it. That's not it. Utilities. Uh, immersive settlement. Yeah, I want that. So let me let me make that. I don't need those right now. I can I can do those later. But I wanted to get that settlement going. All right. Let's see if I've. There it is. And it should be on. Let me see. Disabled. Abled. Okay, it's all set. All right, buddy, let's go. Uh oh, I boxed myself in. We're going to Concord. And then I've got to clean all this. I got to clean all this junk up. Wait a minute. Let's see, there's some uh, shells right here. I'm going to get those. And kill that rad roach. Grab him. I need to cook some food before I get going. Whoop! Get out of there. Whoop! What happened? To roast. I'm gonna cook up all those rad roaches I've been killing. Is that all I got? Oh, I've got the bloat fight flies. Okay. Now I've got something to eat. There's a couple other things over here. Come out of the woodwork. And that's how it's done. I thought there was another one. All right, let's go, buddy. Sorry to keep you waiting. Now, this guy's going to follow us and uh, help us with this little task. And la later, there comes a point where he can be like a companion for you if you want. Quite a bit later. There's quite a bit of, uh, of quest lines with this mod. It's really, really cool. Get that dog meat. I want to eat that dog meat. 
Oh, by the way, Scorpion, I, they don't get naked in this game. I turned that off. All right, I want to go, let's see. There's stuff up here to get. Hey, John, how's it going? Get that. And then we'll go down and get dog meat. Or as I used to call him, meatloaf. Now, no normally, I would take uh, dog meat with me, but in this case, I've already got this guy, so... Hey, dog meat. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? Lose your owner, buddy? You lose your owner, buddy. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Hey, boy. Come here. Come here. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Uh. Can you find something for me? Hey, boy. Think you can find something for me? Of course you can. See if there's any good stuff here. See if there's any good stuff nearby, boy. Funny thing is when he finds it, if you don't take it, he takes it. Like he did. He just swallowed it. You... What did he swallow? He swallowed a stim pack. <laughs> I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Dang dog. Now where are you going? All right, so there's some stuff underneath this place I need, so. Let me go in here. I told you I collected everything, so I'm just gonna start looting everything I can see. All right, here we go. Trouble. That's over. What'd you do to my dog? Man, they... Where'd they go? Did we get them all? No, there's one. When you first start, you di you have a terrible gun. I have a terrible, terrible gun. And you can't hit the broad side of a barn with it. Okay, so you're asking, what am I going to do with all these big old mo roll mole rats? Um, I'm glad you asked. I'm going to eat them. There's that dog we picked up. I'm gonna eat that. Don't don't uh, judge me. All right, now let's go in here. This is kind of funny. Let me turn that off. We can take this money. All right, business entries, uh, new equipment installed, safe storage there. Take care of those barrels before you leave tonight. Inspectors are coming first thing in the morning. Just hide them with the others. We'll figure out a longer term solution later. Hey, if nature's going to favor us with a cave right below the shop, who am I to argue? So we found out there's a cave underneath the shop. And what you have to remember about this game is uh, the the background on the game is they used uh, nuclear power for everything, including the cars. So what do you do with all that nuclear material that gets, you know... So it sounds like he's storing it under the uh, building. So this is actually kind of humorous. Let me go down there. Picking up everything as we go. All this metal 
will turn into metal that I can build with, so you loot everything. I'm not looting free. What's John doing today? Ooh, I got it. He ain't alone, no. You got a mate. Oh, that burns. Good. It's over. Where'd he go? I still got his tail, though. Oh, you got some thing in your stomach. Oh, it went away. All right, so there's stuff to loot down here, but we've got something we need down here. And I'm going to get it. That plunger, that's it right there. Just kidding. Although the plunger's got rubber on it. And wood. Alright. Let's go in here. Another rat down there. <laughs> Furry little bit. We're gonna get these brain things. Alright. Let me see if I can open this thing. Oh, sweet. I'm gonna take all that stuff. More brain things. Oh, a teddy bear. Alright, let's go around the corner. Uh that's the way out. Okay, this is there's radioactive material down here. This is where he's been storing all that crap. We need that right there, fusion core. And there's a letter down here. We're going to take that. Mr. Benson, on behalf of the Boston Regional Office, I'd like to congratulate you and your team on winning the 2076 Trash Busters Award for the greatest year-to-year -year waste reduction by a single store. Respect for the environment is an integral part of our corporate image, and we appreciate your in innovative efforts in this regard. Ha! They gave him a award for... <laughs> and he's storing everything. Uh, you get it. <laughs> he gets an award for that. He's polluting the earth, and he gets an award for cleanliness. That's pretty funny. All right, we're out of here. The only reason I went down there was get that core. That's a power core for the power armor. All right. Now, I think I can level. <clears throat> so, let's see what we got here. Level 2. And I told you I'm building as a ranger. <clears throat> so, I've got a plan that I'm going by to build as a ranger. And... So the first thing that I want to get is uh, the Ranger uses rifles mainly and handguns. So the first thing we're going to do is increase our uh, rifle ability. So I'm going to do that. And let's see, I'm level 2. <coughs> so that's, that'll get us started. And we're on to Concord. Thank you, Scorp. Where's my friend? Oh, no. Keep up, buddy. All right, completed. Travel to Concord. Deal with the raiders. So, these raiders got some splaining to do. Come on, keep up. I hope he's pretty good with a gun. Where's my partner? Geez, you didn't get any of them. The Raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. Calm down, my friend. Jeez. I don't know who that was calm down to us, but it sounds like they could use some help in there. 
We still yeah. need to clear out all the raiders. Wait a minute. You know, sounds of it. There's still some inside that museum. I'm looting. Give me a break. I'll stay out here and keep guard. You should head inside and help those people. Are you kidding me? You chicken. He's a chicken. All right, let's get this guy's weapon. I don't like using this weapon, but we'll take all his stuff and we'll get his weapon. Come on, dog meat. We got work to do. No, I look. I've been on there playing uh, playing this game. I've been on Discord and, and live streaming it all by myself every day. All right, let me... Oh man, this is a terrible gun. Man, it's just a really bad. Lock tight. Okay, I can't unlock that. This gun is terrible. It this doesn't shoot bullshit. very. You, you can't hit the broad side of a barn with it. Man, people are tough. What's a jack and apes? He called me a jack and apes. Alright, so we've got stuff to loot in here. And here. Put my headlight on. I'm gonna go down here and loot all the stuff down here. Okay, that core that I went underneath the uh, service station to get, there's another one in here. And they're power cores, and you need them for uh, power armor. So, let's hack this thing. That's it. Unlock the door. A fluffer for monkeys. What? Okay, here's a power core. Now, I've got one of them, but we're going to take this one as well. That'll give us a head start once we get power armor. That'll give us one to run it in a spare. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to do a little looting while I'm in here. Give me some cement for building. Here's these two guys that I shot. You know how many times I shot those guys? Oh, there's one upstairs, I guess. All right, we'll get him in a minute. Let's make sure I loot everything. There's money. Bottle caps are money, of course. You guys know that. You play this, right? Subway token. Ooh, an alarm clock. I think the alarm clock has some kind of nuclear fission in it because um, I think it's a um, it's a nuclear clock. So good good building materials there. Oh, a book, Patriots Cookbook. Oh, didn't do anything for me. So that way, uh, if we happen to find a patriot and kill it, we can cook it. All right. Let's run down this way. I'm telling you, man. Let's just get the hell out of here. We got no reason to hang around and get shot. Stop yeah, you do. It's a fucking pansy. We hold out for the others like we're supposed to. What are you, dead? Hello. Huh? I'm over here. This is going to be fun. <laughs> you hit my dog with a pool cue. See, I blew that thing up. That must have got one of... Oh, no, he's still here. Alright, let me loot this guy. And loot this. And all of that. Anything else around here? Just this other dead guy over here. You okay, dog meat? 
coming in there, and I'm gonna skin every last one of you. Uh, on. Jack and Ape is like a fluffer for nowhere. monkeys. We got other shit to deal with. What? You what? That? Once you have the perk, anyway. I what perk? A little walk. Did I miss I'll one? Did I miss something? You'll be dead. Now what? you might be wondering why I keep picking them skulls up. Uh, you get to use the skulls for making stuff. Wait a minute, looting here. Okay. Uh, once you have the perk anyway, the perk for nuclear material from clocks. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's right. All right. So let me grab this. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. There we go. Well, first of all, uh, Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. I'm not on a time clock, and I don't know what impeccable means. Nope. I'm ignorant. Okay. Well, glad glad to help you. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Do I look like I'm from the goodwill? More like Salvation Army. Go on. Please, ah, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. Well, come back next week, and it may be just First you, and then we can talk. Lexington, and now this mess. All right, I don't know what ghouls are. Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. Maybe. You really aren't from around here, are you? <sighs> nope. Ghouls are irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up and live for a long time. Ah, that ain't it. But they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. God damn it. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Well, let's hear it. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell him. Why can't you tell me? There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, nah, I wasn't like looking. one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Okay, now we're Military talking. Military issue. I want that. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. All right. You dig? Yep. I, well, give me a shovel I can dig. Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. All right. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. <laughs> Your high-grade, long-term nuclear it's battery cherry, man. used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But How long was way back when? we can't get to the when? damn thing. It's down in the basement. Like behind a security gate. Don't worry. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. No. Give it a shot. This is funny because he, he tinkers. Bypassing stuff's not his forte. Later on in the game, if you use the Minutemen to help you get into the uh, uh, other place with all the technology, he's the one that does all the technology. It's crazy. Besides, I've already got Hello. one, man. Actually, I've already got already one. Already got fusion one. Core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Ah. Good luck. We got some jacking to do, he says. All right, I got to finish looting here. We need help. Can Careful, you get a vault dweller? What are you going to do in that stupid jumpsuit? Late to death? Oh, I want to shoot her it's, so bad. It's angry. Hell yeah. All right, we're going to take this bobblehead. All right, we got to go to work. Yeah, it's funny. But, you know, later on, they've got some uh, 
they've got some electronics and stuff that would make Einstein's head swirl around. And he's the one that takes care of it all. But he's just tinkers. It's hilarious. All right, we got another hollow tape here. Let's uh, let's take a look at it. It's from um, SSG Michael Daly, Sergeant Michael Daly. Personal log, United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. <coughs> this past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. Cause, EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. Six I was time. injuries a day later. Day after that, Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared, mm. desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. That's true, Scorp. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldering days are done. <laughs> I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. Good luck, and God bless America. That's right. Or what's left of it. Oh, that doesn't sound good. This is funny. I make this comment all the time. This guy was a soldier. So he's got this armor and the power ran out. Oh, so his soldiering days are gone. Gone. Do you know how many soldiers do not have power armor? Almost all of them. Very few of them do. But without the armor, he can't soldier on. It's crazy, man. All right, so we need to uh, enter this thing. It's already got some busted parts on it, though. It is a full set of armor. But uh, if you look at the picture on the left-hand side of the armor, you can see that one of the arms and one of the legs are non-functional. They're there. They just need repaired. So once I repair those, this is going to be a full set of armor. Now, it is the cheapest armor you can get, but uh, it's a start. Now, uh, I'm not too concerned about the armor because I'm not playing that kind of character. As I said at the start, this build is going to be a ranger, which is a cowboy uh, rifleman. So I'm probably not going to be using a lot of armor. Now, I do have a build that is a paladin, and he's meant to play in armor. He's going to be a, a brotherhood of steel guy. So he's all interested in all of this armor Why don't stuff. You get down here? Show me that fancy gun up close. Oh, if that's what you want. Give you that. I'm coming. Oh, it's I'm shooting my own guy. Sorry, buddy. I forgot about that guy. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull up this guy out of here. This big old ass guy. Oh, shoot. Ah! Run. He's going to take care of those raiders for me. And I'm going to hang out around this building. Hey, that's my dog. Oh, shit. There he comes. Run. Hey, that's my partner you're beating on there. He's down. He's down. Alright. I gotta get my dog. Gotta get my dog. Oh no. There you go. We 
we get them all? We got it. Uh, sorry I shot at you, buddy. <laughs> you look just like a raider. Not my fault. Hi. Woo! <laughs> that was... I mean, you just took down a death claw. <laughs> Color me impressed. All the sound from our firefight must have lured the blast thing out. And where'd you get that power armor from? You know what? Never mind. What about them folks, the raiders trapped inside the museum? Yeah, they're all Did dead. I killed to them, too. Them? Just kidding. They're taken care of. Everything's taken care of. Well, all right. Nice to see a happy ending. You did good. You know that, right? Yeah, I know that. It's okay, though. I'm just glad we were able to save their lives. All right. You held up your side of the bargain. <laughs> the raiders have been dealt with. Scorpion. Now it's my turn to deliver. If you'd just like to follow me, we'll get you your ace. Le leave it up to Scorpion to get the to the bottom of everything. All right, I got I got some looting to do. So. Those explosions you hear are not explosions. When you walk over sandbags with this thing, they blow up. Isn't that cool? <laughs> All right, let's get this guy stuff. I already got that. We'll clean. We'll clean these guys up as we go. Taking all their stuff. I take everything. I'm not picky. Okay, what did that guy want me to do? Uh, let me get out of this armor. All right, here we go. Hi. Hey. God damn raiders. They really trashed the place. Okay. Is this your place? You own this place? I suppose I do. I mean, there was no one else here. Yeah, it was a good place to set up shop. So you just well, confiscated it, it. Until the raiders showed up. I'll never understand their need to smash and knock stuff over. All right. Well, it's a nice place, all. I guess. Nice place you got here. Despite the mess they made, it doesn't look like they took anything important. Most of my equipment is still here. Including your reward. Here. One whole box of ASAMs to do with as you see fit. You earned them. I think that's 20. Okay, inside the box is a sensor. So we got another uh, uh, thing to read. But... Um, I think there's 20 of those things in the box. And here's a little extra for helping those folks inside the museum. Good deeds like that deserve to be rewarded. Where'd you get all the money? Happy to help. That's not all. If you remember, I also promised to show you more things you could build with ASAM sensors. I'll meet you back at your settlement. Don't keep me waiting long now. All right. So now remember, um, the reason I started this character over is is for this mod. This all of this stuff I've been doing here with that guy is all a mod. It's pretty cool too. So let's go in and talk to these geebers and get them moving towards sanctuary. Take it easy, mama. The railroad tech guy Hi. Scorpio's talking about Tinker Tom his name is. That old woman's a drug addict. Don't trust her. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. Yeah, glad to help. The feeling's mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. I don't Preston, have any friends. When we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did. And we owe you our lives. So here. It ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. What? You trying to pay me off? I didn't ask for any money. I didn't do it for money. Hey, sorry. I'm used to everyone being in it only for themselves. You know, you remind me of my friends. The other men and men. The they didn't take money either? The ones lives for something bigger than themselves. You should come with us to Sanctuary. We could use the help. Okay, fine. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, 
That's wonderful. Now you can bring me but all your drugs. There's more to your destiny, isn't there? I'm so happy. I've seen it. And I know your pain. Oh my god, she scares the hell out of me. Uh, what are you talking about, old woman? My destiny? What do you mean? You're a man out of time. Out of hope. Now how does she know that? not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. Uh, is she talking about like the sun in the sky or my boy? Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. A great green jewel. Yeah, she's the scary. Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Um, okay. What are you talking about? What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid. I'm tired now. Oh, jeez. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. Oh, The sure. site will paint a clearer picture. Tell you what. I'll trade you some cams for those cool little slippers you got on. It's gonna kill you. Ah, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? <laughs> the woman's so want nasty. Us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can oh, hardly hold turn on, out hold any on. worse than. Everybody, just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So, Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Yeah, Marcy. Anybody? Anybody? Well then, get off your ass. And let's motate. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh, okay. This guy's zoned out, man. His name is June. And hers is July, I think. I can't remember. No, it's Marcy. Marcy, I think. There is a mod. She is so irritating that somebody created a mod so you can shoot her. Because right now, she's a, a protected character. You can't kill any of these people. Trenton, what's up, buddy? I'm waiting for all of them to leave so I can leave. And this dog, this dog's kind of irritating. Uh, you know, it's a pretty good companion for you at the start, but it gets hurt real easy and doesn't really do a lot of damage, and it's always in your way. It's always standing in front of a door and you can't get through the door and just pain in the butt. I'm doing good, Trent. Turn some lights Don't on so I can see. the price we paid to get this far. All right, I'm going to grab my up. armor. I'll I'm not waiting point. for these guys. Stay close, everyone. The rat is at Okay, Preston, you're not the boss of me. Uh, I'm not waiting around for you. I'm taking off. I'll sc scout the area. All right, now, if you look in the inside of this, uh, I'm going to have to look at this because I have a mod that I'm not using right now. Oh, I got looting to do. It's a HUD mod. And... Uh, when I showed you the first HUD, when I'm out of the armor, how I can make it go away and only bring it back when I need it, there's a, a HUD for the um, for the armor too, but it interferes with another mod that I'm using. So I didn't put it in. Well, I have it in. I just turned it off. And so all of this HUD down here that has the speedometer and all this junk down here... Um, you can hide all of that with this mod if you want to. It doesn't really bother me because it's kind of interesting that I'm in an armor. This is what I would see from the inside. 
So it it doesn't. Uh oh. Talk about overkill. This gun's a little bit overkill, don't you think? Now, if you've never played this game, like any other game that you play, uh, you you play it your way, and there's certain things you like to do in the game. One of the things that I do quite a bit of the time is I take this place for my for my base. Um, and so I'm probably going to do that for now and wait and see what this other program that I'm using does for uh, building uh, bases and stuff. But for right now, I'm going to take this as my as my base. Because I, I just always have. It's all set up. It's it's small. I don't put I don't put a uh, I don't put a, a tower up in here because I don't want a lot of people here. I want it just for me. Uh, but there you go. I'm going to let's see. Uh, let me put this stuff in here. Well, hang on. Now nah, I'll carry it with me for now. So I'll come back and we'll we'll fix that armor up, but I'm gonna go see what that guy has to do for us. I'm getting all wet. The cute synth in there. Which one's the cute one? You know those uh, those fighting robots, the Armatrons, I think they call them? I've got a mod that gives them uh, uh, human capabilities, kind of. Makes them look a little hotter. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> little overkill. Um, I need to fix that. Let me get rid of that gun. I'm going to use this, uh, let's see, that one, DPS 37, 74, that's the best one. Let's do that. We'll put that in section number one. What else have I got? I do have a hunting rifle. Okay, so let me, we'll fix that up, but I'm going to put that in two. What else do I have? I've got a shotgun. I'll put the shotgun in. Whoop, 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 whoop. Put the shotgun in three. And then aid. Uh, if you're really, really hurt and you need something in a hurry, that's what you use these stim packs for. But I'm going to put them in five because that's generally where I keep them. I try to keep all my stuff in the same place so that in a hurry, I know which button to hurt if I to hit if I'm really hurt. All right, there he is. You beat me here. What? You're in the road, buddy. Hey there. All right, time to show you what else A Sam's can do. All right, and put now, this gun generally away. speaking, people need a roof over their head, yeah. food in their bellies, yeah, and a place to be worked. What about a we toilet? We already built a place someone could live. So if you're ready, let's move on to those other two things. No, really, I need a toilet. You're not going to talk about the toilet? What are we building? What are you planning on building? I'm going to show you the two other things your ASAMs can build. Well, that's what you just Farms said. Farms where I guess folks I wasn't can grow listening. their own food and places where people can work. Mm, okay. Okay. Show me. All right. Place down a sensor again. But this time, we'll use one configured for food production. All right. We can do that. But first of all... I need to clean an area to put that. Let's uh, that. Let's clean this place up here a little bit. Now all the stuff that I'm scrapping. Go ahead. Here, Just put it down wherever you. Wait, I'm working. All this junk that I'm scrapping. The materials that come out of it, like rubber from the tire, 
you get fertilizer from the grass and stuff. All of that goes in your inventory and then you can put it in your workstation and store it up. Okay, so I got a bunch of metal out of that. Uh, I don't know what the hell I get out of this. But like trees, I get the wood for that. Go ahead. For the trees. Just put it down wherever you like. So I'm getting a, a lot of building materials by doing this. Alright, let me finish cleaning this up before that guy drives me nuts. Alright, I think I got a big enough spot here. Go ahead. Just put it down wherever you like. Just a minute. I'm working here. Okay, here we go. You're in the way, buddy. He wants me to put one of these in. And so I will do that. Now, um, this one goes on the ground. If you wanted to build it up on a pedestal, you can do this one. And Go then ahead. you can build Just it up. Just put it down wherever you like. But I think the one on the ground will be fine. So let's do that. All right, there we go. You happy? Now what? I just want to trade a few things. What? I don't want to trade anything. Maybe I'm supposed to do this. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, okay. there we go. I'm going to take on the role of a settler again. Don't okay. worry, I won't subject you to my bad theatrics this time. Okay. I just want to show you how easy this is. All right. Does this thing need power? Okay, um... These things that are being built here, you don't see anything. There is a HUD. So if now, I go I into got much of a green thumb, but if I go into the building really here, you'll see that HUDs pop up. See the holograms? And then let's walk up to this. Uh, okay, now right there, you see it says residential plot. Then plan? it's got a when red... Lightning bolt. No that fuss, means that this no plot moves. needs power. Well, maybe a bit and then to the right, it also needs a person dirt. to live here. But how's that different to any other day in the Commonwealth? Are you still talking? So I need to power this. I don't have any power though. Um, okay, almost done. Well, he's almost done. He says. Yes. Gone are the days of citizens complaining over those ever-increasing grocery store prices. Thanks to Rocker Brand ASAM sensors. Never has it been easier for citizens Trent's been to grow feeding the cows, has he? mouth-watering produce. It's so simple, even the wife and kids will want to get their hands dirty. For the finest in homegrown food, look to Rocker Brand ASAM sensors. Robco Brand. Sweet. So now we've got food growing. What else? <clears throat> and there we have it. A fine plot of land ready for cultivation. This from the guy who once underwatered a cactus. You underwatered a cactus. I like it. Uh-huh. Nothing's ever that easy. Well, you're not wrong. People will still have to put the work in. But ASAMs allow you to delegate that work instead of doing everything yourself. All right. We've built a home, a farm... Next thing is a place to work. You know, somewhere folks can perform a little industry. Right. Gather scrap or do a bit of scabbing. That kind of thing. Right. Go ahead. Put down an ASAM that's programmed for that. Um, okay. Well, hi, Victoria. How are you? Nice waiters you got there. Oh, hey there, pup. Well, she just ignored me and went right straight for the dog. Isn't that typical female? All right, let's see. I need to find a plot to put uh, some kind of industry. Let's plug in here. Let me go back into building mode. Clean, clean this area out here. Any, uh, 
Any dirt mounds out here? Yeah, there are right here. Okay, I don't think those are in the way. Okay. Look out, buddy. I'm building. All right, so um, now he wants me to build here an industrial spot. Okay. Now, this one isn't flat, so I'm going to build a pedestal so, so that it is kind of flat. All right, so we'll just do that. Junk storage. Settlements can only store so much junk without proper storage. Industrial plots will increase your maximum junk storage as well as collect additional junk each day. Here we go. Um, this mod has its own economy as well. And you can tax your settlers and make money and and um, and they can make money. Uh, okay, there's quite a bit to it. I'm on. But I do need some power. So let's like see. A storage unit to build. Hmm. That'll be useful. I wonder if I can build some kind of power station here. Can I build that? That's got a hundred on it. Uh, Any old fool can gather a pile of junk. If you want settlements to grow, you need folks to gather useful building materials. I'm gonna put that in. The unit will encourage people to do that. Wood, steel, and I'm gonna take maybe power line. Asbestos to help keep warm. Can I? Can I and put it up there? Don't be surprised if in time people start gathering even more useful. No. Stuff. Can I put it over here? There it goes. Okay, did that power that site? Yeah, it did. Okay, so we got power there. Let's, uh... Let's stretch the line over to this one. Okay, so then this one should be powered. It is. Alright. And I don't think the, uh, the food lot doesn't need power. All right, are we done? Times are tough. There's no bones about it. Even useful people are starting to feel the pinch. But you can rely on Rocco to provide fulfilling employment alternatives. With just one handy dandy Rocco brand ASAM sensor, citizens need never fear unemployment again. Able to legally gather hey Dennis how are you your citizens will wonder how they ever did without a rub go industrial unit just one more in the long line of technological marvels brought to you by Rubco. well there we are all basic necessities covered although folks won't be happy with the bare essentials forever eventually they will want more so best keep in mind now it's up to you what type of ASAMs you put down but do try and keep in mind what folks in your sentiments will be needing. Excuse me. Hello. Uh, don't you shoot now. I don't mean from? no harm. I uh, hope you don't mind the intrusion. I couldn't help but notice all the commotion. What are you two youngins up to here? Yeah, that is, if you don't mind just, me asking. We're just shooting the shit. Fixing up these buildings, are you? Uh, yeah, boy. Captain Obvious here. Yeah, something like that. Actually, we just finished building these. Foundations, walls, everything. Is that so? Built them by yourself, did you? Well, you two looking to settle down here, or...? This settlement belongs to my friend here, not me. I was just demonstrating some construction techniques using this ASAM sensor. Construction techniques? Using that gadget there? Yeah. Well, sounds like Brahmin dung to me. What? Are you telling me you made all this using that... Gizmo? Yeah, it's magic, man. You never heard of magic? That's right. We're rebuilding. <laughs> you say that as if building stuff is easy. Hey, here's a suggestion. Why not offer the old-timer residents here? Let them experience the benefits of sensors firsthand. That is, if you'd be interested in staying here. I'll admit, seeing you two build with those doodads did pique my curiosity. Well, I thought they were doohickeys. Uh, and it might be nice to settle down somewhere for a while. 
It is getting dangerous out there, especially for a scav past his prime. But uh, would an old man like me really be welcome here? Aren't scabs for picking? Yeah, sure. I'd welcome the help. Okay, then, you got yourself a deal. Old Paul is at your service. Old Paul. Now, if uh, you'd excuse me a second, I uh, want to check out this here sensor doohickey. How about oh, there that? we go. It's a doohickey. Your Sams have already attracted their first resident. Yep. Cool, With huh? With that, I'd say our exchange of services is complete. What, you don't have to Enjoy use cars to sell? Sams. I'm sure you'll put them to good use. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta get back to the hardware store. Got a lot of important work to begin on with. Ah! Important what work? kind of work? I've got some family matters I need to take care of. Family matters? Personal stuff. I'm sure you understand. Uh, I guess. You got a wife at home? It was good working with you. Yeah, you too. I should get going. Oh, and good luck with your settlement. Hey, yeah, right arm. Where's that fella going? And I wanted to ask him a few questions. Well, you should have done it. You just turned around and ignored him while he was here. What's up? What's on your mind? Huh. Maybe you're the person to ask instead. You're the head honcho around this place, right? Well, I've got a request to make. You see, I noticed that there's a whole bunch of new people around here, so I'm thinking it might be best to put down a few more of these here censored thingamabobs. You know, to make sure everybody's got a home, a place to work, and not to mention enough food. Okay. Good idea, I guess. That's a good idea. Well, I've been known to have a decent idea now and again. These ASAM things seem very impressive. But we can only make use of them if you place them down for us. Yeah, that was uh, really intuitive there, buddy. Plot sizes. Plots come in a variety of sizes. Functionally, uh, all sizes are the same and offer no mechanical benefit to use one over the other. Choose the one that best fits the space. Alright, if I had a hammer. Okay, so I've got to build uh, three more of one and four more of the other. Um, and then and then they have to be they have to be upgraded. So, if you notice, these people are coming in. Uh, a lot of these people, like Victoria here, and I don't know who this is, Natalie, uh, these people are coming in, and as they come in, they they all have skills. Now, obviously, this woman had uh, growing skills, and so she took over as a farmer, if you notice. Um, this one here hasn't got any skills at all, I guess, or hasn't shown them yet. So, as you're uh, community starts to grow people come in and a lot of them are part of that mod um, the ones that come in that are part of this mod actually have quite a bit of dialogue if you notice uh, a lot of the in-game NPCs just kind of walk around don't do anything uh, but these have some kind of uh, things to say and quests to give you and there's really quite a bit to this mod it's really cool so, I need to clean up, and I need to start working on uh, building some more. Um, let's see, I think we can track this. Yeah, right here we can track it. So, assign agriculture and or industrial plots for your settlers to build. I need three more of the uh, agriculture or industry, and then I need four more residential plots. So, I was reserving the foundations for the residential. Let's uh, clean these up here. Shuffling songs by Musa. What? Alexa, stop. Did anybody hear me talk to her? She just comes on on her own. Scares the hell out of me. Big Brother's listening. That'd be that'd be kind of funny if it wasn't uh, true. So so far, in this last hour and a half or so, 
I have done a little bit of the normal game, but not very much. Most of what I've been doing is part of this mod. <coughs> Excuse me. So it adds quite a bit of gameplay. And I know there's other mods out there that do that, but I don't... Some of them I don't care for. Um, there was another mod that I was going to look at until I found out it's a survival mod. And, and I don't really care for the survival mods because normally what they do for the survival mods is they come in and they uh, they kind of make everything really really hard difficulty they make it manic hard and i i don't i'm not that good a player to be playing where uh you have to shoot a bad guy like a million times before they even bend over uh and in the same time they're stronger than you are and so they can kill you in a heartbeat. That's not my kind of game style. Generally, when I play games, I look at the difficulty settings. And if there's a setting for just uh, experience in the game, that's the one I go on. Generally, I just wanna, I just wanna experience the game, what it has to offer, uh, without you know being an Iron Man, if you will. All right, so there is one. How come you're not working, Paul? Has Paul got a job? No, not yet. Okay, so let's see. I need some more industry. So let's do another industry here. Although, uh, no, let me put a residential in here. Now these residential ones, I showed you there's one that's for flat areas. And then there's the one that you can build up if you're on an area that's not so flat. And then there's this one. This one's for inside a building. And I'll show you how that works in a minute. But first, I've got flat ground here. Let's just pop this thing in. Let's see if I can put another one in. This one hangs over just a little bit, but that's okay. So get two more going there. And I thought that these I could put power to. I wonder if there isn't one that I can. I used to have one that I could do that to. There we go, right there. Okay, I'm going to replace this. I'm going to replace this one with that and we're going to take this one and junk it and then let's put another one of those maybe right here put one right there Place this one. Scorpion have to go to dinner. Uh oh. I want dinner. I made me a great big pot of beans the other day. I've been eating on those for a couple days now. Okay. Let's get rid of that one. Well no, I'll leave it for now. This one, we can get rid of and replace it with that one. Okay, now where did I put that power? Over there. Okay, I've got that going that way.
let's put this to there and then that to here and then that to over here right and then I can get rid of this one because it's that's being powered by that and then I can power over here now once I get the power to these lamps I can take it to the homes and then let's power that one and then we're gonna power this and then power that and then uh, I'll add some more later so now everything's powered oh look they've built this already sweet okay now I was gonna put in an industrial one uh, and put another how many do I have I have three I needed five right clean this up here dirt mods out of here all right I need another one of these okay Put that in and then I said I needed five of those I got one two three four uh, yeah let's uh, let's run down the end of the road tear another house down Now this looks like a smaller plot. I don't know if I can get two of them in here. Let's see if I put that there. That there. They may they may I may be able to get two of them and just kind of make them hang over a little bit. Put that down. That was 5. Yeah, it will let me put another one in. But I only needed 5, so I'll start with that. And then, what's that cargo place there? Uh, Sim Settlement Resource Storage. Oh, what the hell's that for? I don't know what those are for. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to learn about that. Wow, you sure got a lot of storage. That's weird. Okay, so now I got to find um, how many of those industrial places did I need? I think I can put one. I don't want to put one there. Um, the hell was that? What is that noise? Let's clear this one up and I'll put some industry right here. Uh oh, dead bug. Get rid of that. You don't need this car. Um, also, as these people that are moving into town, uh, as they evolve, they will start tearing stuff down for resources. So they'll start doing what I'm doing right here. Tearing stuff down eventually. And because they need building materials. But I do too right at the moment. So. Everybody go to sleep. Scorpion keeps everybody awake, doesn't he? All right, so I'm gonna use this spot right here as some industry. 
and we're going to need more food because more people are coming into town. Uh, if you look at the top of the page there, you'll see I've got eight people in town now. Um, there was nobody here when I first started except for Codsworth. Now, and then I brought five people in with me from Con uh, from Concord. And then we have three other people come in, at least. John's still here. How you doing, John? You doing okay? Okay, so I need to do another industrial spot. So maybe I can do two of them here. I might have to make them hang over just a little bit. Make them overhang a little bit. Okay, so how many of those did I need? Um, assign agriculture and or industry of pots for your shelters, settlers to build in. Okay. Well, there's two. I need more. They're going to need more food. So let me... Put another food spot in. Let's see. There's generally food already over here. She's already working on that. Need one more. Um, I usually put one in here, but... I was looking for more flat ground. That, you know, that looked flat from this side, but it isn't, is it? All right, let's put another one in here. Keep the food in kind of one location. Let me see. Let's get rid of this tree. And these bushes and stuff. I wonder what they're building over there. I think the game kind of looks at what it's got for resources and decides what kind of industry it's going to build. As you notice, the first one it built, I didn't have any choice in. It built a storage facility. So let's see about putting in... Wow. Look at the size of those. Man. That's a huge spot. I'm only going to put a smaller one in. Let's put it right. Right, cheer. There we go. Now, those don't need powered, but... Let's see, I've got... Uh, I need to power those. Let's do that. And then... Power that one. Okay, so those are powered. Oh, look, we got new people. Hello. How are you people? Hi. Um, hey. Are you... Industrial building class unlocked. Building materials. Settlers assigned to building of this type will focus on gathering building materials instead of mixed junk. Building materials plus aluminum, asbestos, concrete, fiberglass, steel, uh, and glass and wood. Sweet. You the one who put out the radio message? Yeah, that was me. Settlement? Yeah, that was it's me. It's very nice. We had to leave our home. Everyone was getting sick. So, if you're looking for people and it's no trouble, well, we'd like to live here. Sure, of course. Go right ahead. Oh, thank you. Don't worry. We're willing to work. Just let us know where you want us. See, now all of these people are brand new to the, this this part of the the mod that I'm playing. It brings new people in. And they're not zombies. Alright, so let's see. Um, I put in... I think I've got enough industry now. I think. 
And so uh, now what I need to do is greet the newcomers, which I did. <laughs> newcomers. I said newcomers. I was thinking cucumbers. Um, assign residential plots. I think I've got enough stuff, and all I need to do now is wait for them to do the work. So they're going to be building these places, and then you'll see eventually if somebody has the skills, they'll come over. And now you notice that she's this is the gal that was standing over by the farmer, and I said she didn't. I didn't know what skills she had. Evidently, she's an organic collector. So uh, as they get as skilled people come in, they get assigned to certain things. Sweet, eh? This is the coolest mod. Look, there's people moving into the homes. Sweet. He painted it pink. Oh, aren't you sweet? Who's singing? Is that you? You were singing. Need to get back to Diamond City one of these days. Biggest town I ever saw. It's pretty big. Biggest one here. I just want to trade a few things. Go ahead. Um, how about your stim packs? I'll take those. Thank you. So all of these guys have something that they found or they carry, and you can trade. And eventually, they'll be getting other stuff that you can trade. Uh, but you can tell I've got a lot of cleanup to do. Yep, I'm going to have a lot of cleanup. Now, eventually, as these places grow and they get populated, like this, the uh, places like, let's say, let's say uh, one of these little residential areas. Once your, your city starts growing, as you get more people coming in and they keep working, like that's kind of weird. It's a boat. Uh, for like this one here. As they start coming in, that you'll come back into town, and they'll take this little one-person shack, and they'll put a second story on it, and now two people can live there. It's uh, it's really kind of cool, and also I was going to show you about the inside ones. Um, let me let me see if I can clean this one up. Let's see. Let me see if I can clean this up. Now, I this new mod, I just started messing with it yesterday. I, I am by no means am I an expert at this mod. It's just, I was just having so much fun with it that I decided to come in and show you guys just how this mod works and play a little bit. I was going to do a Friday night Fallout 4, and Friday came and went, and I was playing this game. And... And forgot to live stream. I was just having so much fun. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't even live stream. He's cleaning this place up. I got to be careful because this scrapping program I'm using is a mod, and if I accidentally hit the foundation. It will take the whole foundation and everything. And I don't want that to happen. So I have to be careful when I before I hit that scrap button. Uh, yeah, there's been times where I thought I was pointing at the leaf. Like right here, I thought I was pointing at that, but I was po pointing at the building, and it took the building away from me. Let me get rid of that bug. And that bug. Okay, so you got a place cleared out now. What you can do is... You can take an inside plot, which is this right here. And let me see if I can... 
I need to... Alright, let me see if I can get it lined up right. And up against that wall. Okay. Now, what this will do, we're inside a building. It doesn't build the building. It'll build a room. Notice that the ASAM is in the wall on the wall there. See? It's actually going to build uh, some kind of a room for somebody. Cool, huh? Indeed it is. I know I did. I forgot. Did you eat already, Scorpion? What you have, by the way? You're back on the phone. You're not done eating then. Okay, so yeah, now now everything is going and I just need to wait until something happens. So now I can continue on with playing the regular game. So I need to talk to Preston, I guess. There he is. Let's go chat with the man. Now we're back in the regular game. Hey, I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have no. listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Oh, I liked it when I lived here. Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... Uh, yeah, I'm 200 years old, buddy. I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. No, more you like a popsicle. Anybody else make it out with you? No, no. Wife got killed. Little kid ran away. He was a year old and he was running so damn fast I couldn't catch him. My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. God, who's that singing? And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there are Minutemen out there, somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Minutemen is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is... The trouble is... I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? Yeah, right. There's always the trouble is. There's always a but someplace. Uh, and listen, I just poured out my heart, told him my wife was killed, my one-year-old son was kidnapped, and I need to find him. And the first thing he says, yeah, yeah, I know all about that, but can you help us? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. All right, so now normally in the normal game, I'm supposed to go talk to Sturgis. And then Sturgis is going to tell me I, that people need beds, uh, people need water, they need food, people need uh, defenses. Well, I've been building all of that stuff, so let's go see if I've already taken care of some of that that Sturgis wants me to do. <laughs> that little girl that said they came from a sick place, she bugs the hell out of me. Well, not just me. I mean, in the game. She's constantly complaining. We need more stuff. We need more water. We need. No wonder they threw your ass out of the other place. Where is Sturgis? Where is he? There he is. What's he doing over there? What are you doing over here? Sturgis. You willing to do some work? I've been working. Probably harder than you have. I'd be glad to help. Just tell me what you need. Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Okay, I already built a bunch of beds. Let's see if it gives... Yep, I already did it. Already done, buddy. Sturgis. I like it. 
Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. All right, I'm on it. I'm on it. Clean water coming up. <sighs> Great. Already Thanks done again. it. We're done already. Sturgis. I feel better already. Knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. Whatever. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help. But our food supplies are running low. Good God, and man. If we're going to settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. All right. I'll start, I'll start right, away. right away. Good deal. Oh, already done. <laughs> That's one good thing about this mod. It, it does all that work for you. Sturgis. Well, this place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Of course trouble you can. Is, the more we establish Remember I told you here, the trouble the is more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a now, little bit. Now I don't think we've done I'm on it. Defenses. Ah, It'll make everyone feel more secure here. Or have we? Oh, we did. Sturgis. Thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. Feels good. Well, I was glad to help, I'll tell you that. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. <laughs> I'm welcome in my own home. To Windows, too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. What are you getting back to? You're just sitting here looking at that building. All right, so we got that done. Um, I need to go find... If I can find a mirror... Does my old house have a mirror? Oh, I got stuff in the old house to pick up. I got to pick up this Greg Grognock the Barbarian. Perfect. That gave me a, a, a perk. And then I need to go in here, and I can get that book right there. You're special. And let's see, what do they want me to get? Uh, what do I need? Strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence. I'm going to go with intelligence, I think. Okay, so I increased that. All right, I'm going to, I'll be cleaning up this stuff later. Right now... I thought maybe there would be, whoops, a mirror. Is there a mirror? In, nope, no mirror. In, yeah, there is. There's a mirror. Oh, it's not that kind of mirror. All right, let me see if I can put a mirror in. Oh, I think the mirror actually, I think the mirror is actually not, uh, I think it's a cupboard. Is a mirror a cupboard? Yeah, it is. Now, this is a special mirror, I think. This one is. Okay, so with this mirror, this is a mod. It puts it puts the same mirror in, but this one does something extra. It lets me change my appearance. And I hate this guy's hair. Well, how do you say it? Mirror? <laughs> All right, so... Um, I don't like this hair. Commissado, it says. That's terrible. There. There we go. That's what I want. Right there. Wow. Cock-a-doodle-doo. Cupcake. Nah, that's not me. I just want something simple. Zombrex. Man, that's not too bad. But it's still a little bit too cock a doodle doo for me. Adonis. 
There's the scorpion look right there. Yeah, I just want something simple. Something simple. I don't want something I have to use a comb for. Too many choices. Oh, that's ugly. Red Robin. Red Robin. No, tanks. There, that's a simple right there. Gave me something simple. He looks like a nerd. That one's not bad. The dapper. That's not too bad. Nine to five. There we go. Maybe. Maybe. The rebel. Shaggy dove. Be All right. Tell you what. Between uh, the rebel. No, not the rebel. The dapper and the nine to five. Dapper, nine to five. Dapper, nine to five. Dapper. Okay, the nine to five makes him look like he's got a square head like Frankenstein. I think I like that one. I'm going to take it for now anyway. All right, but I want to change the color. I'm going to make him a jet black boy. I like uh, the black hair. So did Elvis. Elvis, he liked that black hair. All right, now, uh, extras, markings. He doesn't have any. Blemishes. No blemishes. Damage. No. Okay, good enough for me. Now we can enter and we're done. There he looks a little better, in my opinion. Sweet. Oh, look, we got power on. It's got power, so that it's taking that power that I put out and bringing it to the house. Cool. Oh, by the way, uh, I have a mod that has indoor stuff. Let me show you. All right, let me uh, scrap that fireplace and this junk on the ground. And then uh, I've got a mod that has this one right here. The HZS, EHB, and WDB. I don't know what the hell any of that stands for. But it's got, like, really nice houses. And it, this is part of a mod that I got this with. But this is interesting here because... You can put some furniture in. Um, look, it's actually got fire. Hey, I leveled up. Oh no, did I put that through the wall? No. Look at that, isn't that cool? Actual fire. Sweet. All right, so I leveled up. I'm always leveling up. But I think I'm going to end the uh, stream here. Um, I hope you guys had fun. And uh, what I'm going to probably do, instead of having you watch me do all the work to clean this place up, I'll probably do that uh, before I come back on. Man, we're getting a lot of people coming in. So... Uh, I've got some waiting to do because uh, that guy's not going to talk to me again until I get some of this stuff done. So I need to um, wait till these guys are done building. And then he's going to come back and say, wow, you really done blah, blah, blah. Now you can do da, da, da. So anyway, so but that's OK because we got some game, regular game to play. So anyway, hope you had fun. 
uh, I'll be back. Maybe, maybe, you know, I've been thinking about doing the Friday night Fallout, but I've been having so much fun with the game. I may come in on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, or maybe Mondays and Fridays. So, um, if if I don't see you on Wednesday, then I'll see you again. Well, I'm going to see you tomorrow on farming. I'll see you Thursday on farming. Wednesday, I've got uh, the uh, Witcher. And then Friday, I'll come back and, and do a little bit more of this, unless I get bored. But anyway, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Take care of your families. Take care of yourselves. Have fun with all your games. And I'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now.